New shoe alert. Hey guys, I'm back with another unboxing video. So, I'm unboxing the same exact pair of shoes that I bought the other week, except this isn't the same shoe, it's the first iteration of that shoe. So this is the Nike Zoom X Vaporfly Next Percents, not Next Percent Twos, but the Next Percents. And um, this shoe just it came out originally in like late 2000 or 2000, sorry, 2020, 2000, 2020 or 2019, something like that. And um, ever since then, uh, they came out with the Next Percent Twos, and people have said that these are actually slightly better than the second iteration. So in other words, they nerfed the shoe because it was that it was that good. They banned it. They almost banned it um, for the Olympics, but uh, I guess what they did is they nerfed the shoe. So, <laughs> so I'll tell you guys the key differences. Um, I'm pretending like I'm unboxing this for the first time. I got so excited like the first time I unboxed it. So I, I'm just gonna pretend like I'm doing it again for entertainment purposes. So. First thing you see is this, uh, it's like a sack pack. So it's like, it's got the numbers, the time thing on it. I don't know if you can see it. It's like the, I don't know. It's, it's one of the design themes. Oh. And then, uh, this is, yeah, the receipt. So I got these from StockX, by the way. So they're like 110% authentic. <laughs> and, uh, and they were out of stock from webs, uh, from Nike. So I, I paid resale. Don't judge. And the shoes themselves. These are fire, dude. So yeah, they're pink. Real men wear pink. And uh so it's got it's got this uh authenticator tag thing from StockX just to let you know they're real. Cause like who would make fake versions of these? Anyway, I know they're real too because I, I tried them on. And, and by the way, they feel slightly more responsive than the, the Next Percent 2s. I don't know if it's just in my head, but um, that's weird, right? I, I don't know. But let me know if you guys feel any different. Uh, so the upper is different from the Next Percent 2s in that it's it's got this plasticky kind of like mesh material. And it's almost like transparent. I don't know if you could see like. It's almost like. Yeah, it's it's a mesh like material, but it's like plastic. If that makes any sense. And then the next percent twos. It's more of a fabric. Uh, and the thought is these are less breathable than the second version. But the. The difference though is these shoes in general are slightly lighter than the next percent twos. So yeah, that's that's weird, right? So they they definitely nerfed the shoe. Like Um and like I said, they feel more bouncy or responsive. Uh ever so slightly. I have yet to put these to the test and actually like run like miles in these, but yeah, that that being said, I'm I'm decided already that these are gonna be my race day shoes, so I'm gonna run running these on Sunday, uh, the sixth of February. Today's the thirty first of January, and uh, I'm only gonna use these for my my marathons and half marathons to come. Hey guys, so today's my last long run uh, in preparation for my half marathon. About six days out, so this is gonna be a part of the taper off. Uh, and in, in 
tapering off, I should be working on running slower and in the sense of maintaining a heart rate that's below like my threshold. I've been doing a lot of threshold running and um, I promised myself that I would run slower. I kind of kind of didn't really run slower this time like I, I ran hard. So next in preparation for the next event I'm definitely gonna work on my heart rate. Um, you're not gonna see the you know 170, 180, 190 you know, heart rates. I'm gonna work on the 140 to 150 ish range. So today that's what I'm gonna stick to because I shouldn't be running hard at this point. By the way today have breakfast. I woke up late. I hardly got some meditation time in. Literally probably like less than five minutes. So my heart rate alarm is on. I'm gonna have it to 130 to 160. Uh, so anything above 160 it's gonna alarm me and uh, I'm gonna start running slower or I'll start walking if I have to. I just came back from my run. So I'm only gonna run one more time. Or actually maybe twice more before the big day. So we're we're about six days out. Um, race day is on Sunday, today's Monday. I'm, I did I did four miles today at easy pace, like super easy pace. Like I had to walk I had to watch my pace watch and uh, see if my heart rate was in target range, which is, it should be below 160. And uh, anytime I would go over 160, I forced myself to walk. And that was like the hardest part, if anything. I, I'm not a big fan of, you know, stopping in the middle of the run and to walk. But that's what I had to do to maintain, maintain that heart rate range. And so this is what's tape, I'm tapering off now, so. I have to force myself next time too again to do the same thing and that's going to be on probably on Friday. Saturday morning is going to be a shakeout run that's going to be maybe two miles. Two miles, not tempo pace but easy pace again. So we're really just tapering off now at this point. Um, I have to discipline myself not to run hard and yeah so I, I sh actually was planning to do another four miles, but after that, I was like, man, I, I don't know if I could do this. It's so, it's not easy to run easy, if that makes any sense. If you've been running hard the entire time, it's it's kind of difficult to force yourself to, to run slower. So after four miles, I, I called it. And anyways, uh, last time I trained for my half marathon, I... I wasn't running much the last week, so I'm, I'm good. I'm in the right place. I know that I'm gonna, I have a good feeling I'm gonna hit the target on race day.